In this video, I want to show you how to add trees from Marketplace. So uh, there's a lot of content that is free. And if you go on permanently free collection, you can get stuff that you can add to your game that students can add. Now, mind you, you know, if you're a game company, you probably pay for stuff. Every month there's free stuff. And every time students add this to their account, it's there forever. So if it's free this month, they add it. Next month, it'll still be there. It's still free. They can use it for whatever they want. Okay. I'm going to show students how they can go get the trees because we need trees for our uh, Robin Hood. And uh, since we're not, you know, sometimes trees, it's the animating of the trees and so on. It's a little complicated. We don't need to worry about that because we're mostly doing uh, photos. Um, so what I want to do here is under permanently free, I'll write tree. And let's see what comes up. Click search. And there you go. So. Here's this one, temperate vegetation. I think that's probably going to be perfect. So um, if you don't own it, like I don't own this one, what you're going to do is you click on it, you add it to the cart. So free, you click on it. If it, it costs money, it would say something. Uh, and you can, right from here, add it to your project. So I think I'm going to add this one. It doesn't really matter. So you click on add which project, you select the one that you add it. And this often takes five, 10 minutes. So it's 1.3 gigabytes. So I'm gonna pause the video and show you what it uh, looks like once it's been added to your project. And of course, once it's added to the project, you can go and get those assets and add them into your, uh, your environment. Okay, so now the project uh, the folder or the plugin of the trees has been added. So I'm going to click on this. There's quite a bit in here, but usually what I want are the meshes. Okay. And what you're going to notice in the meshes is that there's full size trees. And in each folder, there's like high and low polys. Now we're going to use low means it's a less uh, hard on the graphic card since we're in a school and you know, not everything works uh, as well. And then you got these half trees and then you got these low trees. Okay, so um, now what I want to do is add these as if they're foliage. Okay, and one of the things I find frustrating is uh, it's hard to see. So I'm going to take this and go and place it this way. Whoops. I want this. Okay, so that I have lots of room. And as you can see, I started bringing in a couple already. This will take a bit of time. So I have the students bring in a couple. Uh, so what I want to do now is place my settings. So I uh, zoomed out a little bit here. As you can see, I clumped it. And one of the problems that we're having is that uh, we need to uh, change. Um, so select one tree and you're going to do this uh, for the out kind of like, so it looks, you can place one tree at a time, but really this is the best way to do it. So I'm going to change the radius. Uh, because the density, I mean, is, would be way too uh, dense. I'm going to go to about uh, six. Uh, so we'll see in a second when we do what it looks like. The other thing that with the radius is this is how close they are to each other. Now, 100 points is one meter. So I'm going to go about uh, 500. So I want them to be about 500 points apart. The other thing that I want to do is when we, we start uh, painting them out, I want some, I don't want it to look always the same. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go 0.6 to 1.4 roughly. All right. And we're almost done with this one tree. So we're doing all these settings for one tree. And then what we want to do is turn off normals. Because if, if I have normals not clicked on, the trees go crooked along the, uh, the, the length of whatever the mountain says. So. We definitely don't want that. So we're going to go control Z and I'm going to undo this and let's just start, you know, placing them out and maybe I could make it a little denser. And these are decisions that you can do with the students and it tends to place them all the way out. Let's uh, increase the density a little bit. Let's go to uh, 20 and let's see what happens. It's a kind of trial and error. You could also make your brush a lot bigger for the outlying parts where you're not really going to be. Um, and you can add different types of trees out here. So maybe your density even thicker. Maybe 500 is too much. Let's go to 300. 
Let's see what happens if I do that. Adding them out. And I'm going to now click on. So let's see if this is working. So I'm going to click back to my regular mode. And I want to select something over here. Press F. And let's go Alt and let's see what it looks like on here. So it's not bad, but definitely maybe want a bit more. Now what we could do is get different uh, trees, of course. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly start painting the different trees in. And I'm going to get you to do the same thing. And you definitely want a couple that are nearby. Let's shrink our brush. That also makes it a lot easier. The brush is too big. Let's shrink it in a couple of ways. You can use a bracket tool. Or just like this here and um, there you go so just keep painting that way uh, and you might want to do just one at a time unlike the vegetation when we did several at a time it kind of and every time you change you have to change the settings which is kind of inconvenient um, let's go to 20 for the density just do this one here um, go about uh, six six hundred here and and this is the variability I think I forgot to do that so from 0, 0 0.5 to 1.4 so that it doesn't always place them exactly the same way and we're going to turn off the normals here and your tree will be straight so yeah that, that looks pretty good I, I like that and it changes the size of the tree so let's add a bunch of these off in the distance and you just keep going like that. We don't need to fill in the whole map. I mean, if we're playing a game, you're going to be running through it. You might want to do that. And I like these bigger ones. They kind of fill it in nicely. Okay, I'll pause and I'll do a bunch more. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.